John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and today I wanted to talk about leather straps. And this was brought on by my good friend Singing Toad, who asked me, um, could I make or have I made a paddle strop before? And I need to back up just a little bit and that my knife sharpening is not the greatest. Um, I kind of feel for Tom at Knife Delights. I'm I'm not a very good sharpener, and I bet Tom's probably even better than I am, but uh, I've been learning a little bit over the years and uh, here since I've been collecting knives more seriously and kind of getting into the into things. But uh, one of the, I guess, big keys for me to knife sharpening was realizing that most of the time the knife just needed to be stropped. And once I learned what a strop was, and how it was used and i'm not an expert on this by any means i just want to make sure you're you're clear on that and i'm certainly not an expert sharpener there's a lot better sharpeners out there than me but uh, a lot of people out there better than better at sharpening knives than i am but uh, once i found the strop and i started using a strop uh, then that really was a game changer so the first drop I really got was this one right here. And a good friend of mine uh, made this for me. Um, and he actually made it for himself. And then he found that I really liked it. And so, um, you know, it's got compound on here. And, uh, and, and on the other side, I glued another piece of leather um, to, to that side. Uh, just a little bit different texture and put some other strop on there. It was just trying some things. So... You can make a strop um, out of leather. You put the flesh side up uh, really on one side and the grain side up on the other. And I'll show you that in just a minute on a couple of these other strops. And you can also pick them up pretty cheaply, uh, pretty inexpensively at uh, some leather makers really sell them um, as an all leather strop. But you can just get an old piece of board like this and glue it on there. Uh, get some scrap leather from Hobby Lobby or some other craft store or from a leather shop and and you can make your own strop i uh, just have to get some stropping compound i got mine from it's green actually i should have got it out here maybe i can find it real quick i don't know um i think it's down in another drawer it might be difficult for me to find it but um i got it at uh, harbor freight um you know or you could find it at a hardware store so Anyway, so that's the first one I had, and that really helped out a lot. What it does is it polishes that edge. So, um, you know, you take your knife, and and if you're not familiar, most of you are probably familiar with a strop. So I've got the case copper lock here, which has been my carry here recently, and you just go back and forth. Now, sometimes you have to start by using stones or a sharpening system and then doing a strop, but most of the time, a strop will just bring this right back, uh, especially this knife. It's got an, a really nice edge on it and holds an edge really nicely. So, um, you know, just a few strokes on the strop brings it back. So anyway, back to Singing Toad. He, uh, if you haven't checked out his channel and you need to, he asked me if I'd make a paddle strop. Well, I, I'm not a woodworker, but I attempted that for him. And this is really going to be a gift for Singing Toad. And I, I attempted it. And it actually didn't turn out too terribly bad. So I uh, glued, you know, the one piece of leather with the finish side up or the grain side up and the other side with, with the flesh side up on that other side. And I ended up just using wood glue. Uh, I use wood glue for leather working all the time. You see, I kind of spilled over a little bit but you know this is more functional than anything uh he went in something that looked a little nicer but you know i just said hey i'm not a woodworker so but he liked this so he, i'm going to send this to him and i think he's going to send me a little something back as a, as a trade so this is the latest project i put a lanyard on here it, it's pretty rough but uh i think it'll get the job done and i'll let him add his own compound on here now, I was at a festival, and it's all a leather worker, and he had these for pretty inexpensively. I added the lanyard here, but, you know, that's just a piece of leather with a grommet. 
so you can hang this and then use that as a strop. So, you know, I picked that up pretty inexpensively. The other thing is some sharpening systems have strops with them. Uh, the WorkSharp Precision Elite has a strop with it. Um, and this is the WorkSharp Field Sharpener. It's about 30 bucks. It has, you know, a fine uh, diamond stone on one side, um, the coarse on the other. It's got the ceramic rod. This will even do, uh, I think this will even do fish hooks. If I can, you see on the other side here, um, get my lighting adjusted maybe a little bit here. So you can see on the other side, it's got a fish hook and then coarse and fine. I've got it on fine. You know, if I put it around the fish hook, you can see it's got the grooves for the fish hook there. And so you can sharpen your fish hooks. Those of you who like fishing, and I do, but you can do uh, serrations here. And what's good about this one, and it's got the strop with compound. It comes with a strop with compound. So this is pretty cool, especially for someone who's trying to learn to sharpen because it's got a 20 degree angle. And so when you put your knife on this sharpener, you're at an angle. It helps you find the angle. And the same thing with the strop. You hold it here and then you can go back and forth and find the angle. It's really helped me a lot. I use this just to touch up my knives most of the time. So, um, and this is the WorkSharp Field Sharpener, I think is what it's called. But I've had that for a couple of years. And um, I don't know what else it has on it, but I think that's it. Anyway, so uh, strops are really, really important. If you uh, are into knives and starting to learn to sharpen, I would highly suggest you pick one up cheap. You make one. It doesn't have to even have a handle like this. I mean, and really, this was pretty crude. I'm not a woodworker. I kind of made this more as a gift for singing's toad, you know. Um, and then, you know, or you could just take a piece of wood and make one. So, strops are important. Important to finish up that edge, to just touch it up, and to polish it. And uh, so, hopefully, this has been helpful. Just more of a... a like a show and tell here today. So I uh, appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you so much to uh, uh, Warthog for the shout out here recently. And Big J's been shouting me out in Boston Blade Reviews. And uh, uh, the guys on uh, RJ's Lives on Sundays, uh, check them out on Sunday uh, mornings, uh, Pacific time and uh, afternoon. It's about 1.30 on Eastern time. So uh, check them out. They're awesome. And so I uh, appreciate all the attention there and support. And so uh, here recently and all the new subscribers. So with that, thank you for watching.